I don't know if you can see, not really. <laughs> these, these leaves are orange. They are gorgeous. <laughs> I really love the heat of summer and I love, there's like a warmth, but a crispness about fall. Anyway, so I am walking home um, because I just came from a yoga class near me. Um, and I thought it would be a good opportunity to talk a little bit more about like grounding into your body and why it's relevant to what it is you want to create. Oh, you'll have to excuse the videography because it's dark. I'm just going to look like a blurry blob and hopefully you can actually hear me. <laughs> We're going to find out. So anyway, so I, um, I guess I'll share a little of my experience, um, to give you a sense. Um, I've had, uh, I've come out of a fairly, um, intense period. Some of it is allowing myself to get sucked into circumstances and allowing my, um, not being mindful of my inner condition. Yeah, I'm really sorry about the videography. This is terrible. Anyway, um, and so I um, was running a, a lot of anxiety. And um, with anxiety, um, we tend to... So when we have really intense emotions running in the body, there is a point at which the tension becomes so great, particularly if you haven't learned how to um, be an open channel for the energy. Um, and there are some energies in my life I can be an open channel for, <laughs> and then some energies I'm not. And in this case, I was not. And so what happens is when your body reaches its tension point, I've talked about this before, and I guess in a bit more technical sense, but you pop up into the mind. Um, so the mind starts telling stories. It starts creating beliefs. This is where your limited beliefs were created um, throughout your life. The mind basically takes over to release the tension and it starts to tell stories. And these are not empowering stories, I promise. They are, this is where fear comes, doubt comes. Um, it's essentially the mind protecting you. And what happens if we don't learn to process through this energy, these emotions, these feelings, um, then we spend our time in the mind. And now the mind is powerful, but the mind can also be your greatest enemy. <laughs> it is your greatest tool or your greatest enemy if you do not understand the mind-body connection. Oh, well, here we are, terrible again. And basically how to master it, how not to buy into those stories. Because those are essentially... <laughs> Sorry, I love Halloween. I can help it. Those are essentially the um, your body, the sensations in your body. Um, your brain notices, oh, there's dysregulation. And it will essentially pull from your identity. So based on your previous experiences in life. Um, look at the context of the situation that you are in, what's, whatever's going on in your life, and it's going to match those two up and it's going to start to tell a story. <laughs> and this is why feelings matter less. The feeling is not the issue. People don't want to feel their feelings. Feeling the feeling isn't the issue. It's buying into the story that you're telling based on the feeling. That's the problem. So anyway, I digress. When we get um, into a kind of like a really negative space, um, we actually check out, we're not conscious. This is when um, basically in terms of creating your life, you start to run in your subconscious patterns. So whatever is limited, <laughs> it's gonna start appearing in your life, all those limitations. Um, it's the equivalent of riding a bike 
and closing your eyes. You're steering, but you've no idea where you're steering into because you're not conscious. You're not in your body. <laughs> and so this is the point. This is the purpose of it. if you feel exhausted, if you feel doubt, if you feel fear, if you feel tension and anxiety, this is why I say stop what you're doing. My coach <laughs> calls it the, your stopping period. So I'm in my stopping period because I realized um, like I was pushing energy. I was, yeah, I was pushing. I was basically increasing my own resistance, pushing against my resistance. <sighs> it felt terrible. So that's how you know you're, that's how you'll know you're there. If your creation process feels terrible, that's where you are. So at this point, I am now grounding into my body. So evenings I walk to a yoga studio. It is amazing here. It's not just yoga, it's like a whole experience. I love it. Um, it, it gets me in my body, it gets me out of my head, it gets me present. I started taking some Tai Chi classes because that connects you literally to the flow of energy through your body. I went from feeling exhausted, um, probably a little depressed, and I feel invigorated. And it doesn't take very long, but it has literally let the tension out on so much of my resistance. And it's like life is doing this. <laughs> because energy is fluid, positive energy is fluid. And so if you are in that point where it feels hard, it feels exhausting, <laughs> you feel frustrated, take your stopping point. <laughs> when I get to that point in my voice, I hear my coach tell the story about what his coach told him, stop, Brian, stop. <laughs> and I realize, oh, I need to stop. And it's glorious because life becomes magic. It really becomes magic. <laughs> and so if you're exhausted, you might also need a stopping point so that you can live like you can't fail. <laughs>